Hi there everyone, my name is Yan Ying and in today's video, I will share about whether is it hard for women to work in the electrical engineering field. This video will be solely based on my personal experience and I do understand that each and every woman have a different experience when it comes to working in the male dominant field in electrical engineering. Especially for those of you who are currently a student or about to enter the electrical engineering field, this video is for you. I personally have 3 years of accumulated experience working in the engineering field and overall, I would say that I have a very pleasant journey working as a woman in the electrical field. Just to share a few of my personal experience of slight discrimination. I wouldn't call it discrimination per se, but I would call it more like a judgment that is posed on you as a woman in electrical engineering field when it comes to construction sector. And it happens that Sometimes the contractors and workers that you are working with are mostly male and when they see a female on site, they tend to have the perception that a women physics are not able to endure harsh conditions on site. They might not outrightly tell you but from certain wordings that they use with you throughout the conversation, you will be able to feel like, oh, do you think that I couldn't do it? and they have ample experience working on the construction. While you are entering as a fresh graduate, as women as well, they tend to be very protective of, oh, a woman, whatever you do on the site would be so dangerous, regardless of wherever you are walking, whatever you are touching on site, they would have the perception that, ah, she probably doesn't know what she's doing, and are you gonna trip or fall? Things like that tend to happen. And in order to overcome this whole stigma around site, you can't change what other people think of you on site. But what you can do for yourself is to know your worth, know your confidence, know your knowledge well, and be able to interact with people. It takes a certain level of assertiveness for you to talk to people on site with your male counterparts. But that is okay as long as you know what you're saying. And be very mindful of the line of acting smart but not knowing what you are actually doing. Acting confident and smart without the correct knowledge would backfire so badly. Another common question that usually strikes the women student in engineering field is that how employability looks like for women when it comes to electrical engineering field. I would say that the odds are not bad. Some people in the forums might say otherwise that women tend to be harder to find or harder to land engineering jobs. But to me personally, that is not the case. What I personally have heard from certain HR saying is that engineering firms somehow do prefer women in engineering when it comes to certain job scopes. It is not on the physical end of the job scope, but when it comes to documentation in engineering works or things that involves wordings and tedious information calculation. It is a common norm for employers to think that women possess the qualities of being tedious or women possess the quality of having delicate attention to small details. Hence, certain job functions, women are perceived to be a more positive candidate for the role. If I were to give another tip on employability for women in electrical engineering field is to be brave and to show confidence in your personality because having to work with your male colleagues sometimes it do require you to be a bit more firm to be more daring to speak out and with that image it would convince your employer that you will be able to cope with the scenario and the circumstances going around with a male dominant feel. Of course, it doesn't mean that you have to dress up like a man, you don't have to wear your suits or your boots or your hat, and you doesn't need to get a shave like I do as well. That is not because of my job, but that is also because of my personal reasons. Link here if you want to see videos regarding my haircut. Another common scenario that you might encounter when it comes to women in engineering is where your colleague talks negatively about your other women colleagues. Sometimes the conversation happens so indirectly or very, very unsubtly 
that you noticed that one of your female colleagues was being brought into the topic on the way she works. How did she get up the corporate ladder? Is it through a sexual context or is there rumors going on with the bosses who are male? Things like that do happen sometimes and it is very uncomfortable to sit through it and endure it. However, what you can do in certain scenarios like this is speak up to them nicely, disagree with them on the possibilities of their assumptions, correct their judgment, tell them what you think of her capability, her actual capability and job that helps her through the corporate ladder. Speak up about your female colleagues that you think deserves the credit because that helps to shape the culture that you want to be in. The overall outlook is improving right now in this century and don't be afraid to be a woman in engineering because things are changing. There's always a room for women to be in electrical engineering field if you desire. I have not encountered many experiences on gender discrimination nor have I encountered any difficulties navigating through my job as a female electrical engineer throughout my career and I'm very grateful for that. If there's another pro tip I could share is to find companies that empower women in STEM, women in engineering, companies that respect gender equality and strive towards that culture. Because with times like this, lots and lots of companies are actually moving towards improvement direction. And if you were to ask me when is the best time to be a female engineer, I would say the time is now. And there are a lot more that we are doing to improve the workplace for female engineers. A lot of the job now looks at how you perform at work, the KPI that you achieve professionally, and it's not about gender. A quick reflect to know your worth, prove yourself, and speak up if you find a gender discrimination scenario at work because you will be helping another woman in engineering to succeed in life. And if you like this video, Click subscribe to my channel below and I'll see you again next time.